Today we're going to make one of my absolutely favorite and standard recipes. It's a red pepper salad and it really shows the wandering of vegetables and the wandering of the Jews. The pepper has such an interesting story. It came from Central and South America, um, came back to the New World, to the Old World with the Spanish. Um, then merchants started taking the seeds and bringing them around Europe. Many of these merchants were called the Turkish, uh, um, Turkish merchants, and they were Jewish merchants that had been in the spice trade and had connections all over the then known world. So what happened was these peppers, these pepper salads, went to Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria. So you find versions of them um, all over the place. And, and this one is a little bit easier to make. I have it in my refrigerator as often as I can, and it's always, always delicious and refreshing. So let's get started. So first thing that we're going to do is take the peppers. Now you could put them over a grill and eat and, and grill them each one holding on with the tongs until it's blackened. But I'm kind of lazy. I like to do things that are quick. So I put them in a 450 degree oven, turning them occasionally, and, um, and then they're ready to go. So here we're just going to put them on here. I put them in a 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes. So let's go. Let's see if they're ready. 20 minutes are over. We've moved them around a few times. And here they are. And I have to admit, they really smell smoky. All right, so I've started to peel some, and I wanted to show you how to peel them. I actually like doing this. It's very cathartic. It's like picking raspberries. I love to pick raspberries as well. So you see how it pulls off if you've done this the right amount of time? Most recipes for this grilled pepper salad are peeled, which is kind of interesting. Um, but some of the Bulgarian salads, you can just... You don't have to do that, but most of the others you do. Okay, so, so the red peppers, see, you sort of squeeze them and they come off. And if, you know what, if a little bit doesn't come off, don't worry about it. It's gonna be just fine. But I think that it just, the, the heating at high heat cooks it and smokes it, and, and it's very sweet, and that's what you want. Okay, so you get rid of the seeds. Also, just cutting them in long strips is cathartic. Don't do it when you're too, too busy. And if you want a little bit more piquant, then just add... Um, some either cayenne pepper or just hot pepper. It's so interesting because all of this is, is new world and it's, it seems so old world. That's how food travels. And as Jews travel and they discover new ingredients they, that were available to them, Jews have always adjusted what cooking they've done by what the local ingredients were. So they may have seen a, a salad like this, or they may have adjusted it to their own cuisine. Who knows? Okay, about a third of a cup of good olive oil. Mix it together, pardon my fingers. Take some good coarse salt. Put it on there. You don't want too much. You want pepper. And you want about three cloves of garlic, right? Three. Mm -hmm. Garlic to your taste. 
you mix this around. And then you keep this in the refrigerator overnight. You can add it to other salads. You can um, make it, look at how pretty this is, on your own, whatever you want to do. Then what you do is you cut a lemon. And I, I like to do it either by my fingers So I, I put a little bit more in. It should be about two tablespoons. And I like doing this with my hands, using my fingers as a sieve, um, because it's just good for your fingers. And then what I do is I put it, when I want to serve it, I put it in a pretty bowl. Look at how pretty that looks. And then I sprinkle parsley on top. Le voila. Is that beautiful? So it's a Tunisian pepper salad. It could be Moroccan, could be Algerian. You might put a little bit of different pepper on it. You might put a little bit of cilantro on it instead of parsley. But that's the basic recipe. OK, ready? Mm. Really good. It's sweet, it's peppery, it's pungent, it's delicious. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.